All right, so we pressed in these ARP rod bolts, and uh, when you do that, you can distort the big end of the rod down here. So we sent them to the machine shop to have them checked and resized if necessary, and uh, obviously they didn't even resize because this has all been freshly machined in there. That's important because this diameter here does a couple things. It maintains the shape of the bearing so that it's round and goes around the crank without scoring it. It also crushes the bearing to keep it from trying to spin in there. Most modern engines have a three ring package on the piston. Uh, the top two are your compression ring. The bottom one is your oil control ring. Uh, some guys will call it an oil scraper ring. Uh, when you go to install them, there's often marks on them because the face of the ring is different depending on the material the ring's made out of, um, what type of engine you're building, whether it's a street motor or race motor. You want to make sure you put them in the right place, the right order, and the right side facing up so they do their job and break in properly. Uh, when you get your rings, they'll usually have instructions to donate which way they should be installed. Uh, there's also some ways to tell. In this particular case, we got a dot. Install the dot upward. Again, there's more than one way to do this. Maybe none of them are wrong, but I like to set the gaps of all the rings basically a third of the way apart. That way, it's a longer path for anything to get between the gaps. Uh, some engine builders say that you put them in, they stay there. Some say they don't. Either way, makes me feel bad. Uh, I'm going to keep saying this throughout this build, but I've talked to several engine builders about how best to pre-lube an engine, and you'll get a different answer for each one of them. Uh, when it comes to installing the pistons and rings, I like to take just a bottle of some generic dinosaur oil and uh, pour some on my rag and then wipe the cylinders down. The reason I like this is once the engine's running, that oil ring scrapes a lot of the oil off. So having a whole bunch of oil in here isn't, isn't really ideal. Uh, this, in my mind, does the same sort of thing as the oil ring by taking the majority of it off the cylinder wall but making sure it stays in the crosshatch. Whoop! <laughs>